So it starts off with the Mirage running from this jeweler, right? Just Spider-Man pop up on his ass. But Spider-Man told the Spider-Boy to handle his lightweight. He was like, you can handle the D-lister. Bro was pissed. He's like, you calling me a D-lister? So Spider-Boy's trying to fight him, but he kept going through like all his mirages. He's like, bro, you gonna tell me how to fucking fight this man? He's like, nope. He's like, all right, I'm gonna figure it out myself. Then he looked at Spider-Man. He's like, oh, you hanging from a light post. That's it. It's the light. The motherfucking, uh, the real fucking mirage only got a shadow. The rest of them don't. So then they whooped his ass. They sat on Times Square and got to talking about what happened at the edge of the Spider-Verse and how they got Spider-Boy and shit. And Spider-Boy is basically saying that he's mad that the whole world doesn't know who he is. And Spider-Man was saying that when he got erased from existence, he got brought back as uh, uh, Peter Parker, no Spider-Man, and he had Ben back. But he got extra memories and he mad that he got the motherfuckers because he got a, it's like he lost Ben twice. That's what Spider-Man was asking. He's like, man, nobody know your ass. Where the fuck you live at and shit? How you get to school? That's when Spider Boy was gonna take his mask off. He's like, no, don't do that shit. He looked, he pointed down to the damn intercom and see that everybody, the damn TV was looking at them. He's like, yeah, you was about to fucking pull your mask off in front of everybody in the world to see. Just when that shit was going on, Supernova came out and she saw that this motherfucker was on the TV because she was looking for him. So she found his ass. Trying to blast the fuck out of him. Spider Man was like, I don't even know who the fuck you did. Yeah, Spider Boy was that role, his role. He's like, nah. And he's like, nah, this motherfucker's an A lister. He definitely ain't my shit. So he told Spider Boy that uh, Spider Boy to go handle the people. So Spider-Man get to fighting this girl, boy, actually dodging her shit. He can't fight her right now. And while that's going on, Spider-Boy up here saving the people. At this bar, that girl's friend recognized her. She's seen her on TV. She's like, oh, no, that's uh, my friend, uh, uh, Estro Lopez. So while that's going on, Doc Ock trying to hurry up and get up to this, see the fucking Spider-Man die, right? He sends out his Octoids and shit to basically record every moment of the fight. Then he gets to talking about how he created Supernova in the first place. And what happened in the last, uh, the issue before this, the Superior Spider-Man Return. Of how she escaped, or how he helped her escape. So Spider-Man still trying to tell her, like, look, you ain't looking for me. I, you probably look for other Spider-Man. She's like, no, your ass is finna die. The cast is, uh, die as cat. That's what fucking Spider-Man was like, oh, okay, I know exactly who you think I know I am now. And she hit this fucking water tire, right? And he had to say, Spider-Boy was like, Spidey, do something. He grabs that motherfucker, right? Then he throws that bitch at her ass. She come out that shit like, nice try, nothing will stop me from... Where the fuck he go? Spider-Man, he went down there. He was like, all right, she ain't trying to rob the bank or take over the world or nothing. She just trying to uh, kill Spider-Man. So the best way to keep everybody safe is for Spider-Man to go away. And you see the spider sense going on. And he thought that it was an old girl trying to kill him, but it wasn't. It was one of them octoids watching his ass. So she pissed and she takes off, right? As you see Peter, he up there watching her at. But Peter got a new problem because Doc Ock now knows that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. That reawakens all his memories of him being the superior Spider-Man. And this shit gonna be continued. But we skip to another story with Spider-Boy, and this shit was a long time ago during the Sp Superior Spider-Man run. We get the lost memory. So Spider-Boy has, he finally got some fucking weapons. We seen Spider-Man did give him some weapons back in the day. He goes to find Peter right next when he sees the uh, Mr. Negative's goals is that uh, one of them demons mask. And when he touches that, his spider sense goes off. And the spider sense is warning him to protect them motherfuckers from Spider-Man. So we meet up with Spider-Man, this is the Superior Spider-Man, uh, his ass up there fighting uh, Mr. Negative. Spider-Boy come through and like, I know damn well you didn't murder these people. He was like, of course not. The biggest Mr. Negative's minions possess remarkable healing powers. They're incapable of dying. He said, yeah, but the pain, louder minor aches mean nothing compared to what's at stake. He lets us know that he learned the Mr. Negative's plans to steal shit from the Fantastic Four. He's like, true, but your ass was trying to steal it before I came here. He said, indeed I was. In order to uh, transfer to Ohio to a more secure location, it's not stealing if you are acquaintance of the Fantastic Four and no water security codes, which I do. That's when Spider-Boy was like, oh, you've been a little bit off, man. Maybe I should use my spady sense to see what's going on when she's about to touch him. That's when he was like, get your ass off me, little motherfucker. He said, lay a hand. He's like, oh, you didn't fight Mr. Negative. He didn't made you a little bit crazy when he touched you. And you get under control and turn a little evil. That's when Mr. Negative grabbed his ass. And he turns into evil Spider-Boy. So he gets on fucking Spider-Man, right? And he says, Spider-Man, you think you're so much better than me, old man. <laughs> Trying to put his ass. Well, guess what? To me, it's like you're moving in slow motion. His ass was using the super speed around Spider-Man. Cracking his ass. And while I may not be as strong as you as you try to hit him and that shit miss, I'm strong enough. All it takes is one lucky shot and I can end you. Doc Ock and Spider-Man was saying it's not his attacks that fucking worry me, it's his damn psychic touch. At any moment, the boy can reveal my true nature, but this might provide the perfect opportunity. Yes, I can say I was defending myself that I never meant to strike him so hard. And just when he's about to hit him, right, that shit reminded him of uh, when his dad was trying to hit his ass. And he was like, I can't strike a child, I won't. <laughs> Spider-Boy got to get on his ass fast as hell. This one, Mr. Negative tried to take off with that shit, right? And then you have Medusa, the Inhumans, Ant-Man, fucking She-Hulk, and I forgot her fucking name, up here as the replacements of the Fantastic Four as well. They was off work. So they started to get on Mr. Negative. And while they was fighting Mr. Negative, fucking Spider-Man was like, yo, man, look, my motherfucker, fuck, the no top. Slamming the shit out of that. That shit woke him up, but everybody else was like, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? That's a child, bro. You don't treat no damn child like that. That shit ain't cool. 
Because the spider man's like, very well, I was never meant to have a sidekick. I hear you heroes are fond of taking in infants to have another four-year brute. I'm done with it. Then he takes off. That's when the Fantastic Four, the replacement's like, man, come back to our crib. And that was the end of that shit. We gotta find out what happens next time in issue two of Superior Spider-Man. This is issue one.